I'm living in my father's people's area, the Combamiri people, mob, mob or tribe or clan, if you like. Um, and the Combamiri are part of the Yugambeh language group, which is quite a large area to the south of Brisbane. <laughs> so Brisbane, place around about London, and New South Wales, the hills, um, the, you know, great dividing range, um, a place called um, Bedesert, that's the uh, sub-tribe or sub-clan of the Yugambeh language group. So most big language groups, they have, um, they have lots of different groups within it, subgroups. That's how come people have dialects and so on and so on. <laughs> um, so that's my father's mob here. So we're the traditional owners of this, this whole big area. We've got a native title claim. I don't know if I should say that or not. <laughs> a native title claim um, to do with our land, which is a, sort of a political um, legal position that Aboriginal people have all over the country. They can put in claims for their, for their land to be recognised, their connection to land to be recognised. But uh, Brisbane is the capital of Queensland and around Brisbane, historically, traditionally, there's around about five big language groups, including Yugambe to the south. Um, Jagara, um, Gubby Gubby, um, oh gee, Turrbal, Turrbal, um, and on the, um, off the coast, uh, there's uh, Stradbroke Island people there too. That's another traditional mob altogether. Now, some of the um, descendants of those tribes, they still live in these places. Uh, but the most people, the population, Aboriginal population is around about well, between 35 and 40,000 people. Most of them come from somewhere else. They come from up north, further up north. They come from out west. They come from much further down south from New South Wales and so on. Um, but um, so they all intermingle. But most of these people um, are historical people. So I myself would be historical there in uh, Brisbane because I don't actually come from Brisbane. It's Brisbane. When we, when ourselves, among Aboriginal people themselves, all the people who work there, the historical people, um, they recognise really uh, the main ones in the inner city area um, as the Turbal and the Jagera. And they're, so they're, they both have native title claims over the area to have their connection to land uh, recognised. It's a long process through courts and so on. So that's going on for quite a while, you know. But um, people, people's identity, their tribal clan identity, even though people have been urbanised for quite a long time, they're still, still like that. They, they, you know, their identity is extremely important to them. But um, most people, um, they just have ordinary jobs, sometimes in mainstream, um, but sometimes with Aboriginal organisations or departments uh, to do with Aboriginal affairs. Um, of course, economically, they're the poorest, uh, the poorest people. Um, they, a lot of people live in um, poorer suburbs or, um, how could you put it, oh God, what do you call a, a council? But council houses, like council houses, <laughs> um, um, you know, very cheap rent. Um, and usually there are a huge mix of uh, poorer white fellows in general, poor white Australians, uh, migrants and Aboriginal people. So those sorts of um, uh, estates or what do you call them, uh, council areas, um, they're, they're quite, a, quite a, you know, they're everywhere. They're in, uh, out west, Anala is one of them. Logan is another area to the north. I'm not quite sure about the ones on the north side. Um, but generally, that's where Aboriginal people um, live. And um, culture is still very important to Aboriginal people. Um, they're, um, when, uh, at the roundabout, the, turn of the century, that is around about 1900,